And he, along with the inside referee, if you want to call it that, Sandy Barr calling him into the ring. We call for the bell. Rose is heading back up the dressing room. Savage is going after him counting. Savage isn't even talking to him. Savage is just counting. He said he won't let me in the ring. He's heading up toward the crow's nest. Well, he made it in. The count would have been stopped anyway because Piper was going out after him. Piper definitely says, I don't care where we have this one. That's what happened Tuesday. And third fall action, it got down to where they didn't care where it was. And it ended up in the bleachers. I have now, I've seen it spill over into the third, fourth row. I saw Maurice Vachon and Lonnie Main chase each other to one end of the Coliseum where the bleachers stand for baseball underneath, but they were not bleachers there. That's years ago when we had some 8,000-plus people at the Coliseum for a big one. All right now we've got a wild one, I'll tell you that. Roddy Piper. Playboy Buddy Rose and Piper, and I cannot get used to the applause for Piper and the applause earlier tonight when Adrian Adonis remarked about Bad News Brooks being on his way back. Brooks got applause. Winner of the first fall in this match, which has not really turned into the brawl that it did Tuesday night yet. First fall to Roddy Roddy Piper, his title not on the line. Sit out to the back of the head. A headlock. Actually a chin lock twisting that head. Piper on Rose. Sandy Barr, the referee inside. Outside is the Dutchman. Got Savage. Two referees are trying to handle this one. Sandy Barr saying break it. Piper says I'll break it. He broke it. Grabbing the hair of Rose. Putting the throat over the top rope and leaping from the apron down to the concrete floor. Piper with a Juno chop. Setting for the whip. The bottom turnbuckle went down. Flying drop kick is missed by Piper. The middle turnbuckle. The middle turnbuckle is down. Savage is coming into the ring. Savage coming into the ring here, counting him off, trying to get the turnbuckle away. And I tell you, mayhem can happen. Turnbuckle treatment for Piper. Rose got him pretty good before that turnbuckle was taken away from him. And to the ropes. Knee into the small of the back. And they are having trouble getting that turnbuckle back in. But Piper is having as much trouble from Buddy Rose. Rose kicks to the midsection. Judo chops through the ropes. Right through the middle rope that they were almost had hooked. Almost had it hooked there. Outside the ring, Piper is carried into that ring post. The small of the back. He was in a carry position. The small of the back ran into the ring post. Now Farrenbar, strong young man, unhooks the other side. He was working on one, and Rose now is unhooking all of the turnbuckles, trying to get an advantage. The ring crew trying to fix it. Rose tearing it apart, trying to get an advantage out of it if he can.
Piper is hurting. Stop to the head. They're going at it to get that turnbuckle up anywhere. It's going to be it's going to be a little low. To the small of the back. The whip hard into the corner. I tell you, they're there knock the ring equipment apart. You know they're going at it. If you don't believe otherwise. Billy Robinson inside backbreaker. One. Two, and he wants to hurt him some more. He picked him up at the count of about two and a half. We want Piper to cry from the crowd. And Piper's coming back. Now another backbreaker. He got back with one shot, but he's picked up. Backbreaker, and this time he pins him. The Billy Robinson... Inside backbreaker. Buddy Rose wins the second fall to even up our main event at one fall apiece. And I'll tell you, I'll bet we have not seen anything yet because this one has just started.